The eyes that see creation, the eyes that see creation. Eyes that have witnessed the birth of everything. Eyes that have gazed upon the universe for centuries, silently watching the birth and death of stars, the swirling collisions of galaxies, and the endless waltz of light and shadow across the infinite expanse. Since the dawn of our existence, humanity has lifted its gaze to the night sky in reverence and wonder. We believed we could comprehend its immensity, imagining the glittering heavens were simple, ordered, predictable. We saw points of brilliance scattered across the darkness and told ourselves we understood their secrets. We traced constellations across the velvet heavens, connecting distant suns into stories of meaning. Tales of gods, heroes, and legends etched not on stone, but upon the fabric of the cosmos. We drew maps of the stars, each line a delicate thread in the tapestry of imagination, each pattern a reflection of our yearning to understand the unknown. We charted the stars, mapped invisible galaxies, counted worlds that drift beyond the reach of our hands. And in doing so, we convinced ourselves that by naming them, by capturing their faint glimmers through our fragile instruments, we could hold infinity itself. As though observation alone could tame the immeasurable expanse of existence. Yet every time we thought we understood the cosmos, reality shattered that illusion, reminding us how small, how fragile, and how temporary we truly are. Each discovery unwrapped another veil of complexity, another layer of grandeur beyond all imagination. And now, once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has undone everything we thought we knew. Not with a whisper, but with a revelation, so vast, so staggering, that it threatens to rewrite the story of existence itself. With a single image reaching back 13.5 billion years into the past, Webb forces us to confront a truth beyond words. A truth so vast, so beautiful, that it shakes the foundations of what we call real. It is a vision that humbles, that stretches our perception beyond the borders of imagination. The universe, we realize, is not merely large. It is infinite, infinite in ways equations fail to describe, infinite in ways our minds struggle to grasp. It is older than our science, deeper than our philosophy, more intricate than our wildest dreams, perhaps more alive than we have ever dared to believe. What began as a mission to glimpse the faint afterglow of creation has become something transcendental, a revelation not of the heavens alone but of the very architecture of reality. Webb has not only revealed distant galaxies, it has illuminated the cosmic framework of creation itself, patterns, symmetries, and relationships we never knew existed. Before Webb, there was Hubble, our first great eye in the heavens, the mirror through which humanity first gazed into eternity. For over three decades, Hubble stood as our cosmic window, its ultra-deep field forever altering our sense of scale and wonder. In a tiny patch of sky no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, Hubble revealed over 10,000 galaxies, not stars, but entire universes, each blazing with billions of suns, each a story billions of years in the making. Galaxies spiraling in grace and fury, forming, colliding, and dissolving in an endless rhythm of birth and death. That single image stretched the horizon of our understanding, showing us that the universe might contain as many as two trillion galaxies. The night sky we thought we knew was only a fragment of a grander, deeper, more astonishing reality. For a generation, Hubble defined what it meant to look beyond ourselves. It taught us that the darkness above is not emptiness, it is depth, a boundless ocean of mystery and potential. Where unseen civilizations may dwell, and where the laws of nature unfold on unimaginable scales. Yet even Hubble had limits. Its eyes could not pierce the oldest light, light stretched by the expansion of space itself, hidden beyond its reach. And so, humanity built Webb, a telescope not just to see farther, but to see before. To witness the first dawn, the birth of stars, the moment when darkness first surrendered to light. And when Webb's golden mirrors unfolded, turning their gaze toward eternity, 
The universe did not whisper back, it roared. It revealed itself in intricacies so vast, so unfathomable that our minds strained to grasp it. Webb captured light from the first galaxies, light that traveled billions of years, carrying the earliest stories of cosmic creation. Each photon a messenger, each spectrum a page in the universe's diary, telling of brilliance and shadow, of order and chaos, of structure and freedom intertwined. With every exposure, every calculated observation, Webb drew back the curtain of time, unveiling secrets humanity had only imagined. The universe is not static. It breathes, moves, transforms. One of Webb's most ambitious programs, Cosmos Webb, spent over 250 hours scanning a single patch of sky, an area three times larger than the full moon. Thousands of exposures were layered and combined, producing the most detailed, breathtaking map of the cosmos ever made. Within that single image, scientists found something extraordinary, over 780,000 galaxies. Each one a luminous monument to time itself. Some ancient, mature, structured, existing mere hundreds of millions of years after the supposed beginning. If Hubble's deep field fit on a page, Webb's vision could cover a wall, a mural of infinity. Every dot another galaxy. Every galaxy another universe. A living testament to cosmic time. It was more than an image. It was revelation. A redefinition of existence itself. Yet amid awe, something unsettling emerged. These galaxies were far too advanced for their age. They possessed structure and heavy elements that should not have existed so soon. By every model, the early universe should have been chaos, gas clouds, newborn stars, violent collisions. And yet, there they stood, majestic spiral galaxies, fully formed, ancient beyond reason. They should not exist, and yet, they do. This shook the foundations of modern cosmology. Star formation, black hole growth, and galactic structure began far earlier than our timelines allow. The clock of creation seems to have started before the Big Bang itself. Or perhaps time flows in ways we cannot yet understand. Webb revealed not just ancient light, but echoes of something deeper, an architecture of reality beyond beginnings. Galaxies were not scattered randomly. They were connected, aligned, woven into a grand cosmic tapestry, the cosmic web. A network of dark matter and gas so immense it binds galaxies into structures housing hundreds of thousands of Milky Ways. Some of these filaments stretch billions of light years. Too perfect, too symmetrical, too deliberate to be chance. The universe, it seems, was not born of chaos. It was born with design. For decades, the Big Bang was our cornerstone, the single origin of space, time, and matter. But Webb's discoveries whisper of something older, something eternal. If galaxies matured so quickly, perhaps the universe is in constant renewal, a cycle of birth, collapse, and rebirth, echoing through infinite time. Some scientists imagine a cyclic universe. Others suggest layered time, where past and future intertwine, and, before, and, after, dissolve. The deeper web looks, the more the universe refuses to end. What we call the observable universe, a sphere 93 billion light years across, may be only a fragment of something greater. There may be no edge, no boundary, no center. The cosmos could stretch endlessly, an infinite ocean of light and shadow repeating forever. Infinity, once a poetic dream, is now a scientific reality. And within that infinity, humanity sees itself reflected. We have never felt smaller, and yet never more significant. Against countless galaxies, we are but a flicker of consciousness on a fragile blue world orbiting an ordinary star. Yet we are the only known beings capable of building a machine to peer across billions of years and capture the faintest glimmers of creation itself. 
In that act, we become the universe beholding its own reflection. Webb has given us more than photographs. It has given us a mirror, reflecting both our insignificance and brilliance. Its golden mirrors have peeled back the veil of time, revealing a reality far deeper, stranger, and more breathtaking than we ever imagined. The universe may have no beginning, no end. It may simply exist. And as Webb continues its gaze into infinity, each pixel uncovers galaxies upon galaxies, patterns beyond comprehension, mysteries without end. Humanity stands on the edge of the unknown. The comfort of certainty has given way to the thrill of discovery. The story of creation is being rewritten, and we are only on the first page. Webb was built to see the unseen. But it has revealed something more profound, our unending hunger to understand. Knowledge is not an ending. It is a doorway. Beyond it lies the vast, timeless, eternal, waiting.